What is happening, YouTube? Antar1011 here, and I am back with a new black and white battle. My opponent today is uh, Poonerman77, and this is a doubles match, um, so that's always nice to have a doubles match. Um, anyway, so he's going to go ahead and lead off with his Scolipede and his Cryogonal. I love Cryogonal. I really should make a team where I can run it again, because I, I just miss it so much. Um, anyway, I lead off with Mikhail, my Gallade, and um, Tengroth named Kazulu. Anyway, Kazulu is not going to like either of those Pokemon that are out, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it out and switch in my Hatterack, which should resist most attacks um, from his side, or at least not you know take them very hard. Um, anyway, his Megahorn misses, which is a bit of hacks. Um, sorry about that. Um, anyway, he gets off an Ice Beam, which gets off the Freeze hacks on my Hatterax, so, you know, hacks for hacks. It is what it is. Um, Mikhail goes ahead and Drain Punch this turn. I really should have just gone for the Trick Room, but I was worried he was going to taunt me or what have you. So I go ahead and go for the super effective Drain Punch, and it's an easy one-hit KO for, uh, for Snowflake, because Cryogonal has awful defense. Just really, really awful. I used to run a max defense, um bold um, build, and it just, it, you know, it's still folded up like cardboard. Anyway, um, I get hit by the Megahorn this turn, and it takes me down to 38 HP, which is kind of sucky. Um, meanwhile, his, um, what should I call it, uh, um, Tentacruel uh, goes ahead and Scald me, gets me down to 12 HP. Um, it's actually interesting that Scald does not remove um, freeze status. Uh, I guess... I'm trying to think of what moves do. I think all fire moves remove uh, free status, don't they? I don't know. Anyway, next turn, um, Hatterack does on Thaw. Unfortunately, it misses Poison Bug, who is the real Pokemon that I was targeting there, but it doesn't matter. Mikhail, being the beast that he is, is going to go ahead and go for the super effective Fire Punch, and I believe that's going to deliver the one-hit KO, and it does. So, really, really awesome. You gotta love, you gotta love it. I actually had um, some guy on Quidzat DC on me um, once because I one hit KO'd his, uh, I can't remember whether it was a Chansey or a Blissey, um, with Hatterack's Drain Punch, and he was like, oh, you must be hacking. It's like, no, actually, I breed my Pokemon. You're probably the one who hacks. And he was just so upset. It wasn't even a crit or anything, I don't think. But yeah, it was kind of awesome, and I just got really pissed at him for disconnecting. Um, but oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, going to go ahead for the Earthquake here, um, hoping to take out that Jelly Bean. Um, and it does a whole lot, but not enough for the KO. His Mind Buster um, uses Hypnosis and it misses. Uh, he says that that hacks changed the game. I say uh, Hypnosis missing isn't really hacks. I'm sorry. Um, but Hypnosis has the, one of the worst accuracies of any move out there. Um, if you're going to try to put your Pokemon to sleep, you might as well just try to use Yawn. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, anyway, he goes ahead and sends out his Espeon here, and I'm a little bit worried if this is a Magic Bounce Espeon, how it works when there are two Pokemon on the field. Um, I, I looked it up, and I don't think, you know, if I was going to use, um, say, Toxic against his Mind Buster, that it would have bounced back. Um, but better safe than sorry. Anyway, I get the Flinch Hacks here, um, which is kind of lame. This, this I will admit mattered. Um, depending on who he was targeting, but uh, yeah, I go ahead and go for the n another Rock Slide here, um, and it does a considerable amount of damage, and I get another Flinch Hacks, and I'm really, again, I'm really sorry about that. Um, I go for the Power Whip, um, and that I believe is going to, no, I guess his um, Mind Buster down to fairly low HP, but Musharna is a beast. I love Musharna. Uh, it can take a, a whole host of really powerful hits. Anyway, Psychic from Mind Buster is going to do a lot of damage. Gets me down to 66 HP, um, and that is no good for me. Um, Anyway, and plus, the Twisted Dimensions have now returned to normal, but that's okay. Kazulu gets called back and is going to regain a third of its health um, thanks to Generator, which is an awesome, awesome ability, and I'm just really glad that I'm now out, this is outside the tournament, um, the Underdog Bros tournament, so I'm allowed to use Dream World abilities, and um, Regenerator Tangrowth is definitely a plus. Um, anyway, I get taken out uh, this turn, or, sorry, Tangrowth gets, not Tangrowth, Hatterack, um, my Steelix gets taken out this turn uh, by a Resistance Psychic, um, but it was down to practically no HP anyway. So anyway, I'm going to take this opportunity to send out my Tachikoma, uh, my Rotom Frost form, 
and he's gonna go ahead and psychic me, and I'm just hoping that I can survive, and I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, you know, Rotom is fairly bulky, and I'm pretty sure I run max H- No, I probably run min HP, come to think of it, um, because I have a pain split strategy. Uh, anyway, I go for the discharge here, um, and I managed to get the parahex on um, his Musharna, which is, at first it seems like it's bad because I'm about to set up a trick room, but it turns out to be good because he has synchronized, and so now my Tachikoma is paralyzed. That means it's going to be the slowest Pokemon on the field, which is really, really awesome. Okay, not slower than his Mindbuster, but you know, it's just a Musharna, I can take care of that. Um, you know, as bulky as they are, they aren't the hardest hitters. And I don't, I think I can survive any, you know, one more attack from him. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call back Brain, save it for later if I need it. And I go ahead and send out, um, Lantern, um, nicknamed Angler, who's got an air balloon. Um, and anyway, yeah, so Psychic against, um, Tachikoma is fairly obvious, but I survive with 7 HP, which is awesome. Anyway, Vault Absorb, um, absorbs the Discharge, um, and I take out his, um, Lunar his Espeon, and oh, and I also take out his um, Musharna, so that's actually really awesome. So two KOs for me, I regain a piddling amount of health with Shell Bell. Um, yeah, Shell Bell, rather than Leftovers, is only there uh, so that I can bring this team on Wi-Fi, because Wi-Fi stupidly has item cost. Anyway, yeah, go for the Discharge here, just didn't want one of, excuse me, uh, I just didn't want one of my Blizzards to miss. Doesn't really do that much damage at all. Um, anyway, uh, Angler goes for the Skull here, um, you know, hoping for the Burn Hacks, uh, because, you know, without, uh, a Burn, this thing is probably pretty crippled, and indeed I do get the Burn Hacks, and, you know, at first I was like, oh man, dude, I'm really sorry, you know, this has been a pretty hacksy match, uh, but then he goes ahead and hits me with a close combat, and boom, that takes Angler out in one hit, and that wasn't even a crit, so, um, the, the hacks of the burn hacks didn't seem to matter, um, and that's really kind of awesome. Um, but anyway, the trick room is up, all my Pokemon are going to be slower, this is good game at this point. So, um, Hoonerman77, you know, really good game, um, sorry about all the hacks, um, I know that at least some of it mattered. Um, and folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, I'm just, you know, counting on the clock here as, you know, uh, end of the battle stuff happens. So yeah, um, so long folks.